another feature we get a, a lot of requests for is general mailboxes, you know, and how, how can we have a group mailbox that multiple people can check or multiple people can, can maybe view it and then they can also get an email notification. And we can accomplish this using workgroup mailboxes. The nice thing about workgroup mailbox, instead of using an individual mailbox inside of Shoreway Director, is workgroup mailboxes are free. We can have 250 of them per server. And if we run out of those 250, we simply spin up another server and we have 250 more for free. So there's a lot of flexibility with using workgroups for just from general mailboxes. They can be call into an auto attendant after hours and you need somebody to leave a, have an option to leave a message. Great, we can use a workgroup mailbox to accomplish that. So first thing we need to do is make sure that the extension we're going to be using is already a workgroup mailbox. If it's not, we need to, you know, create a new workgroup mailbox, put a greeting into it, call it, make sure it works fine. Once that workgroup mailbox is set up, we can set up email notification for those voicemails. So if you want to have a distribution list, get an email notification saying, hey, there's, an e there's a new voicemail in, that, in this mailbox, great, we can send that to an Outlook distribution list and four or five people can get a notification that they have a, a message in that mailbox that needs to be checked so that one of them can check it. Once we have our workgroup message already is built, we simply log back into Shoreway Director, go to users, go to individual users, and select the user that we want to be able to check that voicemail. So in this case, I selected myself. On the very top, I went over to the workgroups tab. So most of you are probably familiar with the general tab, which is where you put you know, their username, their extension number, the personal options tab, which you can control, like if they're using a headset or what call handling mode they're in, different features like that. Well, if we switch over to the workgroups tab, I can simply put a checkbox into any of the, the work groups that I want them to, to have access to. Any of them that I put a checkbox in, I'll be able to see their voicemails inside a communicator, which I'll show in the next step here. So in this case, I want to see the general voicemail. I simply check it. I hit the save button. You can see that I'm logged out of the general voicemail box because I don't have to take calls in these work groups to be able to check the voicemail. If I happen to take calls, great. I can take calls for those work groups and I can check the voicemail but you could just use one of these mailboxes just simply as a voicemail box, no call queuing or anything like that, and just add you know, five or 10 users to be able to check this message. You, we've given me access to the general mailbox, so now we simply have the user launch communicator. In most cases, if they already have communicator open, it will add it live. Every once in a while, we'll have to have the user close communicator, but by default, 95% of the time, they should be, it should add live into their system. So you can see, I clicked over to the voicemail tab at the very bottom of my communicator, and you'll see that I have my, my Chris Mitchell mailbox, and it has two messages in it. But now I also have a new general voicemail box that has two messages in it. You can see that that message is bold because I have at least one new message that I haven't listened to. In my personal mailbox, it's not bold, which means that I have two messages in there, but I've listened to both of them, so that's why it's not bold. So in my inbox, you'll see that I have a message from Chris, and I have a message from Brad. So the Chris message has already been listened to, so somebody else listened to that message, and anybody who's accessing this general voicemail box is going to see that that message was listened to. So if one person listens to it, it marks it as read for, for the whole group. If I wanted to forward this message from Brad to another employee, say, hey, this really isn't, it's, it's really for the sales team. It came into the general mailbox overnight or sometime, but I need to go ahead and forward this over to the sales team. I simply select the message. I listen to it. I can reply to it if it's another internal user. Most of the time it's not, so I'm going to forward it. I click the forward button, select Travis or somebody you know, that I want to forward this message to, and I can append my own little greeting onto this. Hey, Travis, this is a message from Brad. He's looking for a quote on a, a piece of equipment. Can you help him with this? And I can forward it on, take care of that message. If it's something I can deal with, I can simply click the contact sender button, call it call the user back and say, hey, I got your voicemail message, just wanted to help you out with these, you know, with these questions. If it's something I've already dealt with, I can simply click the delete button. It deletes it for everybody in the group. Does that mean that it's permanently gone? Not yet. Anything that's, that's deleted goes down in, into the deleted folder, and it stays there all day. And overnight, when it does this database maintenance, usually around 2 a.m., that message is permanently deleted. So if you accidentally delete something or a user deletes something, let them know. Just expand your deleted folder and just move it back to your, to your inbox or to your saved items. It's not, it's not permanently lost until overnight. 
the other option I have is I can save the message to my saved folder, which means permanently save this, you know, hey, there's something weird about this call or I need to I need to check in with Travis when he gets back from vacation to find out exactly what he did with this with this customer. So that's some of the nice features you can use with the voicemail notifications with if you get an email and then say, hey, Chris, you might want to check the general voicemail because there's a new message was, was left in there. Great, I jump over here. I can use one mailbox and let more, four or five people manage this mailbox and kind of treat it better than if you just have a, a wave delivered to your Outlook to a distribution list. If nobody really knows if did Travis listened to that, did Chris listen to it, if it's in your Outlook inbox, just as a distribution list because there's no way to know if one person listens to it. Then you get sometimes two employees call the customer back to check in on this or two people send a quote over to the, to the same customer. So a little bit, a little easy way to allow your users to check in on this.